Hi everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek with this week's What's in the Box. Uh, the What's in the Box are usually little small gadgets and gizmos for the hiking and backpacking industry. I'm very focused on the PCT stuff at the moment, so trying to dial in my gear to get as lightweight as possible. But this week is a little bit different. I have got two gadgets for you, and these are gadgets that I recommend you don't touch with a barge pole because they're pretty naff. So I'm going to show you the two things I've bought. If you're like me, you're on Amazon Prime and a bit addicted to it, uh, and you tend to buy things on a whim, then I don't recommend you purchase these two things. So let's find out this week's What's in the Box. All right, as I said, I've got two things for you uh, this week. So the first naff thing um, is some shoes. <laughs> You're going to laugh at this. Right, now what I've always traditionally had for the last four years, started off on the Camino. These are brilliant for the Camino. These are my mountain um, warehouse, really super light um, shoes. They weigh like less than 100 grams each. They are fantastic. I've loved them forever. But for the PCT, you know, really I needed something where I'm going to be wading through uh, through water and at night, you know, and I'll make sure if they get wet at all, then these are just naff. Uh, even in the UK, these are naff uh, as camp shoes in the evening because if they get wet, they're, they're not very good. Camino, yes, highly recommend these. But everything else, no, I wasn't. So I was looking for some new base camp or camp shoes. Then I stumbled upon these on AliExpress via Nature Hike, and they are actually called, the title got me, they are called Camp Shoes. And I thought, oh, that's awesome. When I was looking at the details, as it says on here, they're great around the home, they're fantastic for the outdoors, they're waterproof, bonus there. They're really lightweight, super, super light. Actually, I'll weigh them in a second. Um, and they will keep you warm because they've got down inside them as well. And I just thought, oh my God, that's exactly what I need. And then they arrived, actually the packaging, this little um, bag that it comes in is actually heavier than the boots themselves. So first thing, let me show you these. So put, that, put that down. So you get this in a nice little package and then there are your boots. But you know, you really wouldn't want to wear these around camp. Um, yes, they might be, they're like slippers. They're all fluffy on the top. If these got wet, it would just be a nightmare. Um, there's no, these are a little bit of a rubber sole, but I really wouldn't walk around camp with those. You know, if you, if you get, if you're treading a stick or a rock or anything, it's going to go straight through that. You will not want to push a tent, a tent peg into the ground with this at all. Um, I'm better off with my sun dicks and I just use the, those actually inside my tent. Um, and also I ordered the wrong size. So these, I couldn't even get these on my feet. So yeah, I ordered the small. So if anyone's got really small feet and they want some nature hike ones, then let me know and I'll quite happily post these to you. But with regards to camp shoes, I'm gonna stick with my mountain warehouse. And if anybody knows of any good camp shoes, I really, I don't want flip flops because I can't do things in between my toes. I don't want sandals, don't want Crocs. So I want something that covers my feet, but something where I can um, traverse, you know, water uh, or little rivers and creeks and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I'm after. So PCT, that's still on my list of things to get, but I wouldn't recommend those. So that's the first one. And the second naff thing that I've bought in the last week, I really shouldn't, I really should resist pressing the buy now button and do a bit more research first, is a tripod. Now, you may know that I'm a big fan of the Ultrapod. So this is the one that I use. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, the Velcro just whizzes around, put it around trees and stuff like that. I've done a full video on this. I love the Ultrapod. It's super light. Why I needed to improve it, I don't know, but obviously I was um, surfing Amazon and they have an Ultrapod 2 come out. So like, yeah, better version, why not? So let's go for it. So I ordered it and uh, I really wouldn't recommend it. So this is the Ultrapod 2 um, or Ultrapod Go, it's called. 
which is like an upgraded version of the one that I have. But in my view, it's not an upgraded version. It's meant to be like pistol um, grip. And yes, the tripod itself is absolutely fine. That's no problem. The bit that I have the problem with is this end section, which is the Velcro. So the other one just goes around the middle there and it's really easy to get on and off. I thought, yeah, that's nice and neat. And all you have to do is pull this out, but you can't pull it out. So it doesn't unravel easy. So then you have to start threading it through and then it comes off. And yeah, when you want to take a shot, you don't want to be faffing around with Velcro trying to get it out. You just want to unravel it nice and quick. Um, and then once I had got it out, finally managed to get it taped to a tree, trying to put it back was just a nightmare because it sticks on itself. So it was just, just stupid. Anyway, so I would not recommend, this is the Pedco UltraPod upgraded version of the other one. So this is more expensive as well. So yeah, that's pretty naff, so I wouldn't recommend that. So that's this week's what's in the box. There are two naff things. I think it's probably just as important to tell you the good stuff as it is about as the bad stuff. We should, really should be telling people don't buy certain things as well. So anyway, if you've got any comments, please leave them below, especially about uh, camp shoes. That would be awesome. Uh, and that's it. Until next week, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Ta-da. Bye-bye.